How do you know, everybody? Welcome, it's Casey. How are you? If you are getting here and can hear me, let me know. Put a one in the chat. Let me flip. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Trevinia, Love on Fire is joining. Who else do we have? Mama Leones is coming in. Welcome, Carmela, Jill, Gil, Cruz, Everything Foe is coming in. F wonderful, you guys. Hey, brother. Hey, David. How are you? If you guys can hear me, do let me know. Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. If you can hear me. Um, so, yes, one, one, one. Excellent, you guys. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, right now, I'm in L.A. here, uh, just having lunch with a very good friend of mine who I'm going to reveal in one quick second. Okay. I, he, you could hear his laughter in the background. Um, so I'm going to reveal him in one quick second. We're also going to be talking about something that um, I've always probably the keys to recurring income online if, if you guys are Paul from VidSummit is here welcome if you guys are someone who is an author expert thought leader someone building uh, a platform selling a product and you want to know more about the kind of the keys to recurring income we're going to be talking about it so if you if this is your first time here do me a favor put in the chat teach if this is your first time here put in the chat teach and if you've been here before, you guys know the drill, put in the chat, learning, teach, okay, Maria, good, 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 teach, okay, I have some good folks that are coming in, so let me quickly tell you who I am, because oftentimes you guys are like, who's this guy talking about this stuff? <laughs> well, let me go into detail on that very quickly. My name is Casey Zeman, I'm the founder of a software called Easy Webinar. Uh, we do both live and automated webinars. I've been online since about 2010, 2011. I teach about how to use the top engagement strategies of webinars and online events and video to build a business and brand you love, okay? And I, and I, I sometimes teach about launching a business, a seven-figure business online, and I also bring in awesome people like this guy. <laughs> Oh, I showed Who's him. That? I already showed him. Um, who, uh, who, who have are also people that I look up to, mentors, and people that are also creating their own online businesses. So, with that said, welcome you guys. Hi from France, uh, Jeremy. Hello, um, good to see you guys. So, we're gonna start here. Who is that? So, people are asking Eleanor, saying, "Who is that? What's up?" Okay. I have, as a guest for you guys, I have, and hopefully you guys can hear us okay, we have no mic and we're out in the middle of LA having lunch. I have uh, a very good friend of mine named Chris Farrell. How many of you know who Chris Farrell is? Some of you do, I think, and maybe some of you don't. Uh, heard him clearly. Part LOL. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, people, people know. So Chris Farrell is the creator of Chris Farrell Membership, and it, he is, I kind of look at him as the, as the father, there he is right there, the Chris Farrell, that's right, is the father of, of membership sites. He, he is the guy who I started with going into his own membership site and learned all about how to create an online business. Um, and so I'm here with him today. Uh, we're having lunch and we're just talking about you know online business stuff and Chris I want to ask you because I think a lot of folks that are that are here uh, they want to know maybe why membership and why you decided to do that in the first place and and how did you know that that membership sites were kind of kind of were, were going to be that kind of key to uh, recurring income well firstly thanks for inviting me on this I just I love technology don't you I was just saying to Casey before this we're having lunch let's do a periscope isn't this just how wonderful our business allows us to do things like this yeah so um, so membership sites to answer your question membership sites in my opinion are the best business there's his accent <laughs> Memories, I haven't shaved either I didn't know, I know yeah, yeah. Uh, membership sites are the best business model out there and I know that's kind of quite a grand thing to say and the reason for that is as Casey just said is they, they tap into the power of recurring income uh, what you, you tend to hear most business owners say and I'm sure you hear this most of the time you hear most business owners say something like I need more customers I need more sales you very rarely hear anybody exploring the opportunity to allow their customers to make repeat transactions and once we understand the power of the repeat transactions it takes away a one-time sale because the great thing about a membership site is our customer is no longer just making a one-time sale imagine you're an author and you have a book imagine you could sell that book once a month or a book once a month to the same customer it's exactly the same sort of analogy of, of having a, a membership site so the reason I love membership sites is they take away the, the need to make continuous sales to earn a regular income 
and sorry. Wait, well, wait, I, I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask. So, so, welcome to everybody who's coming in right now. Um, so, I wanted to ask you. So, because this is how many. I, I, Chris Farrell, what do we see here? I guess you guys, the, the, the light, bur, light blue shirt membership. Yeah, exactly. I, we, had, I had no idea who's going to wear this color. I never wear this color. Um, so, Chris, how many, how many members have you had come through your, your, member, your various membership sites? So for five years, I've had about 27,000. Not all at once. I just should clarify that, but that's over the five years. And um, I think at the peak, the peak, we had like 5,500 active. It has dipped a little bit because I've been focusing on other projects. But, uh, but yeah, they're, they're sort of the rough metrics. And I mean, if you do the math, uh, and you can do the math yourself, yeah, twenty-seven thousand at, at the at the peak. Um, with every not all at once, not all at once, people that have generated and came, um, come yeah. through. But you know, if you're talking about you know thirty-seven dollars a month, obviously it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and, and he is the master at doing this. I mean, I've I've never gone through anyone who knows as much. Can you talk about you know a lot of people maybe are worried about you know as a, this is my concern when I was going to do this. If I were to if I do a membership monthly. Can people fall off after like two or three months or four months? Like, like retention is is yeah. retention. People can fall off and, and people will fall off. So we need to kind of go into that knowing this. But the, the key thing, thing I love about a membership site was um, there's a great marketer called Gary Vaynerchuk, who of course Casey yeah. knows. I'm sure many here. Oops. I'm getting a call saying you're on a periscope. I know I'm on a periscope. <laughs> I can't. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk once said something which I think is such a beautiful saying when it comes to having a membership site. He said, caring is the new currency. It's not beautiful. Caring is the new currency. And what he means by that is that, and I don't want to sound trite when I say this, but if we really do care about our members, if we're not looking at them just as anonymous email addresses, if we are really wanting to engage with our members either in our forum or in our membership site or however we communicate with our members, what happens is we we create this relationship and and one thing I've learned above all else about having a membership site is that people will originally join for the content, but they'll stay for the community. I don't know who said that originally. I heard that years ago. And I, and I, I think you said that. Did I say it originally? I I'm quoting like myself. Mm -hmm. people, let's, people will join for the content, but they'll stay for the community. It's a fundamental human quality. We all like to feel that we belong to something. Anthony Robbins speaks a lot about this, whether it's a church or a football team or Facebook. We all like to feel that we belong to something. So therefore, my point is, if in our membership site we can allow people to feel as if they belong, we can interact, we can communicate, we can engage with them. That alone is a huge retention tactic. So to answer your question, just a pure act of engagement will allow people to stay because, as I mentioned a few moments ago, what most... I keep touching your shoulder, I apologize. That's fine, it's right there, it's right next to you. We're very <laughs> close to each other right now, our faces are very close. What most business owners will do is they will just be focusing on trying to get new sales all the time. You, as I said, you very rarely hear of a business owner thinking about, okay, I've got a customer, how can I really fall in love with them? How can I really engage with them? Because that, doing that, what will happen is your customer will end up doing your marketing for you. So my advice would be caring is a new currency. If you care about people, if you've got a niche or a business or a subject matter that you're passionate about and you care about people, a membership site can be a great vehicle to allow you to create a regular and recurring income. Well, there you go. From the man himself, Chris Farrell. Now, we have to get in the car. Uh, but Periscope while we drive. I think we can do that. We're going to hop in the car, everybody. Wow. But if you have any questions yes. while we while we do this, I'd love to know. Um, you know, if you have a... Because I always have questions about should the membership be yearly? Should you pay for something yearly? Should it be monthly? Who's driving? I'm going to drive. But I'll probably pass the phone to Chris so he can continue on talking to you. How about that? Who's driving? That's me. I'm going to drive. I'm going to be the driver, folks. Don't worry. So if you do have questions... As soon as I get into the car, we'll be able to see what those questions are. Uh, and then I'm going to pass uh, the phone over to, to Chris and so he can kind of answer any questions. And Chris, you may have to sign in to Periscope and follow this so you can, because people are going to want to follow you. They're saying, wow. they're saying, can, is Chris on Periscope? And I'm on Periscope. I think he is on Periscope, but I don't. What platforms? I've heard Rainmaker spoken well of. So membership sites, huh? You guys are asking about membership sites. Whew. Yeah, it's really hot. It's about 93 degrees here, guys. Just so you know, uh, I might pass this phone over. He's gonna start his. Uh... Oh, you gotta find me. He's gotta find me on Periscope first. So yeah, click that little guy. Go to search right there. There we go. And type in Casey Zeman. Although now, you, you may have to go 
to Twitter, my Twitter to to, uh, to come in directly. Um, Chris, what's the best WordPress plugin for membership? Here, I'll let you do okay. that. You can just respond to the question. Wait, I hope my, my face isn't too big for your screen. Yeah, look at it. Look at okay. it. Yes. Oh, I, I think it's perfect. <laughs> so what? Um, best platform for WordPress plugin, I would say, would probably be uh, Wishlist Member. It's a commonly known uh, platform that allows you to essentially create your WordPress site and then you add the plugin and then you can choose which pages you want to be in the members area and which pages you want to have public. Now, one thing I would say about WordPress uh, Wishlist Member, which I love, is that you still have to create the site itself. So you still have to design the site and get it looking aesthetically as how you want it to look. So that can be a challenge for some, particularly for someone maybe not designers or you've got a little bit of coding experience. If you want a, a complete, if you like, um, hands-free version of the membership site where everything is done for you and really you can just focus on populating it with content so you're not worrying about the, 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 the integration and the configuration. There's, there's lots. There's um, value add-on, which is very good, a new kid on the block. Kajabi. And Kajabi next. I use, use Kajabi. You use Kajabi, don't you? I use Kajabi as well. Um, I've used Membergate, a bit more of an old school one. I remember when you were using that. Remember, like, yeah. yeah. That was how that cost so much money, didn't it, to, 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 to use that? That's that, back in the day. Though. Yeah, that was uh, that cost three thousand dollars just to get the license for. And back then, you know, I was brand new to this business, and that yeah. was uh, it still is a lot of money. But that was a real kind of. I, but I saw the power in creating right. a product that allowed regular and recurring income. So. Um, there's Member Mouse that I haven't used, but I've heard great things about Member Mouse. Have you used Member Mouse? I haven't. No. Um, I know. I remember 360, which is another... Uh, oh, I remember 360. Now, that only works with infusion. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. But there's Memberium. There's Memberium, also Memberium, yeah. Memberium, which is a... Uh, are we sounding as geeky as I think we are? I think we this are. Is, oh, and there's Memberium. Oh, yeah. The, 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 how many others can we think of? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, so they're the platforms. So do you have a favorite? That's a great question. Um... I do like Wishlist Member with WordPress. You do need to do some configuration yourself. I do like Kajabi, um, and I do like uh, Value Add-on as well. Yes, geeky it is. Yeah. So if you have any um, any other questions, um, uh, also, do we know where we're going? That's a very good point. I think I'm going to Wilshire. We're going to Wilshire. We're going to the doctors. <laughs> we're going to the doctors. <laughs> Is that too much information? <laughs> I am Not fine. Well, let me just find out where we are going. I'll, I'll hold you guys. I have never so, ever periscope while driving. I, it's, I should both be yeah, I, And I've done this before, and it's not. not I, I, I definitely don't advise Can it. We get pulled over. We could. We technically. technically, but they don't know. If I have it down here, it's probably fine. Uh, is three price point options too much? Um, so offering, say, you know, twenty seven, forty seven, and sixty seven. Um, my on that. That's a great question. What's the average price for a good WordPress plugin system? I mean, well, for uh, for a for a membership site, it's there's the, there's the there's a whole slew of different prices. Um, is it good to offer a yearly price or just monthly? Okay, so let's answer both those questions first. Should we do three prices off of say? The landing page, and should there be, you know, uh, should there be three different membership levels? Maybe that's maybe a question to ask. Okay, well, let's just frame that by saying, as in any aspect of marketing, there's always people that will say, you know, some, something the opposite, and that's just how it is. But in my opinion, personally, I think in marketing, any time you give anybody a choice, all that really happens a lot of the time is confusion takes over. So I personally, in my marketing, I only ever like to give. Do this or, or that's it. So I I don't offer two price points or three price points. I tend to offer one price point. But as soon as somebody is a member, then I will often offer a discount to an annual price point. So an, an immediate offer is made once they sign up. I have a plan. I'm going to swap. He's going to give me that, and I'm going to give you that. So my advice would be 
keep it simple. I think I think it was Einstein that once said, "Only when you know something really well can you can you explain it simply." So many people like to overcomplicate their business and their life, and there really is no need. It's very easy as business owners to kind of get caught up in the, the nitty gritty and work in the business, not on the business, as the saying goes. And think, well, I could have three price points, and I could offer this for the for the higher level, and this for the middle one, and this for the lower. I would I would really recommend just keep one price point, keep it nice and simple. Everybody enters at the same price point, and then within your members area, yes, you can easily add other price points for additional services keep things simple but not simpler than they are yes i agree that i'd love that answer thank you chris is the phone holder i am i've arrived <laughs> how much content and how often do you share that's a great question can we talk about content absolutely because uh, I'm, I'm so sorry i missed your name who asked about content how much content but one of the most common mistakes people make with membership sites and i made this so i don't want to sound holier than thou uh, by saying many people make this mistake a very common mistake is feeling that we have to continually add new content all the time. Uh, what often happens in that case is, whereas we feel we're doing a service to our members, the reality is members end up feeling overwhelmed because it's just too much information. So what's the solution? The solution is to have one or two what I like to call core content pieces within your membership site. So if your membership site was about, I don't know, juicing, you might have one core content course that could be a beginner's guide to the differences between between vegetable and fruit juicing. You could have one other core piece of content that could be seven super simple juicing recipes to allow you to have more energy within 24 hours. And that's it. You have two or one core pieces of content and then you can have supplementary little bits of content. And that could be one video or one article that you every add every now and again. Or it could be a webinar, it could be a recording of a periscope that you kind of populate really when you feel like it, when you have time, so you're not feeling that you're to consistently be on this treadmill of coming up with new content and conversely members are not feeling that there's just too much information being added all the time it's interesting you know some of the most higher highest paid membership sites don't have that much content in them because they know that their members really just want to consume just what it is they want to learn and that's it so less really is more so almost what you wow. have is is not a it is a quality I, I, I have to say I, yeah I totally agree but you guys is this valuable information if it is is this great isn't he great he has he's like a font of knowledge I would please send hearts and also by the way share this with your friends you guys know how to do this you can click the little guy here or swipe right to share to your Twitter followers or swipe up on an Android to share. Um, I mean, he is giving us some great information. I'm going to keep him on Periscope. If you want to keep him on Periscope, share with your friends and followers uh, because I, I, I think there's more content that we can probably get. Or we can, some questions that we can still get from him. Um, wh what was another question that was popping in, Chris? Did you? Um, right, so if you have a question, feel free to will do this is great content thank you what's the average price for a decent wordpress plugin princess yanka what a beautiful name princess uh, the average price for a decent wordpress plugin it's not much um i mean it's uh, less than 100 bucks i'd say i mean it depends on what the wordpress plugin is yeah. so you know we I've, I've i've paid for monthly wordpress plugin monthly um Price for a WordPress plugin is in Periscope. Yeah, um, I, I, but I think it, it, it again, it depends on what we. That that's a really cool car. Wow, slingshot. Wow, can you see that crazy? That's pretty crazy. crazy I, I feel like we're breaking every law imaginable. Well, I think First we are. We, we have the same color shirt on, and we're we're, <laughs> we're, we're breaking rules left and right. My Periscope. Pricing point for a high-end 12-month one-on-one coaching program. Mm. So, from that question, you're saying you're working one-on-one -on -one with somebody for 12 months, and it's high-end. Well, I think you want to be looking at at least two and a half thousand dollars a month. Would you say? Uh, well, yeah. How how often are you working with one-on-one uh, -on -one with them? Yeah, that. I, I think that's really going to be the, the, the deciding factor. But you need to know, though, if you're doing if you're doing that, you need to obviously know that you can, of course, help um, your customers and what exactly it is and if you if you can you know two and a half thousand is for, for one on one if you get two calls a month and maybe direct email access to you maybe you can set up a you know a private gmail address it's just just from those people that are on your private coaching i i would not say coming at two and a half three thousand at all i've paid that many times with people to train me some yeah. stuff and uh, 
and uh, often have got value out of it. Right. But that's another story. Text. Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, text. Um, what's your opinion on wealthy affiliates for new learners? Oh, good question. Well, wealthy affiliate is um, is kind of a rival to one of my sites. And um, I say rival, you can essentially teach the same thing. The two guys behind it are very, very nice guys. I've never looked in wealthy affiliates, so I can't really um, comment accordingly. I've heard very good things about them, though. And uh, they really teach you how to monetize web business through affiliate marketing. Oh, I see. Um, so, well, you, you don't recommend it? Okay. Where? So, I haven't really had enough experience to, to say you do. I've heard good things about the guys. I'm just saying to send diplomatic. Two grand a month. Yeah, I would say two, two and a half, three thousand a month if you're doing one on one. If you're going to provide somebody maybe two phone calls yeah. and email access, I think you're looking at charging them at least two to three thousand a month. Other questions, you guys. Have any, any other questions that you want to get from Mr. Farrell? Any, anything else that you'd love to love to know? Um, Why do I look three times taller than you? Because I, I, I'm I, really not. I sit really low in the seat. That's kind of kind of, <laughs> kind of works. That's very funny. Um, but Chris, so what's the what's the URL where people can kind of consume like a free video from you? I know you have it. Is it just going to Chris Farrell membership or? Yeah, I have some free um, training at chrisfarrell.com, F A W R E W L, um, which would be more than welcome. I have a free video course. And just Chris Farrell. Just Chris Farrell. Two hours. Two hours in Farrell. It's a nice glass case. Do I know of Rainmaker? I don't know of Rainmaker. I do know of Rainmaker, and uh, Rainmaker. Rainmaker is a oh, almost simply it's a it's kind of a it's it's essentially it's a WordPress network. So it's like a, a multi-site that okay. was it Chris Brogan that created it? Um, really? I know Chris Brogan. It's, I think it's either Chris or the other guy. Forget his name, but Chris Farrell. It's, it could be Chris he's, Farrell. He's dodgy. Yeah. And you don't even know your own product. <laughs> uh, but Rainmaker is good for it's. It's just essentially like a WordPress. It's a it's a blogging hub that um, they have stripped away the things you don't need and put in the things you, you can do. See you, Eleanor. Bye, Eleanor. See you later. Um, well, guys, I think that is it. We're getting close to our Thank you. location. So um, I hope this was helpful to know a little bit about Speed Bump, Speed Bump membership sites. Um, where are you guys going? We're going to the doctor. We're going to the doctor. Not together. Not together. <laughs> uh, I'm driving him to the doctor. Yeah. How did this happen? <laughs> it's like a weird episode out of Curb Your Enthusiasm where <laughs> Larry <laughs> David's driving Ben yeah, Stiller. And he's really like, Why am I driving you? Why am I driving you? I mean, it's on my way. It's on the way to, to, to my house, I guess. Thou dost right. protest too much. <laughs> I know, right. You just shut up. Um, well... Amazing content, value hearts for gratitude. Thank Cap you, Anthony in Vegas. Thank you, Anthony. I'm and in Vegas in October. Let's grab a coffee, Anthony. I'm in Vegas in October. Are you? Where Wait, are you in Vegas in what? December? What? Is it dun dun dun? Where, Where are you in Vegas? Uh, is it in November that I'm speaking? No, I'm, I'm speaking at a, an event in Vegas. What event is that, is that you're speaking I at? think it's amazing.com. Oh, yes. I did know you were speaking at that. No, it's not that. I'm at a last night at Cohen Rays. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, how funny. Wait, now we have to talk about it. we got to figure out if we're going to be there at the same time. Do you know the dates? I, uh, it's the beginning. It's the... No, it's the second week. Or... Oh, no, the second week. It's, it's a the sign! End. It's a sign! It's a sign for Vegas. We're going to go see... I'm all gonna... over that. Which event? What's the event? It's, it's, Ama it's amazing.com's event. I don't know what it's yeah. called. Amazing... Summit, I think is what it's called. Is that the Amazing Internet Machine? Is that it's Amazing thing? Selling Machine. Amazing yeah. Selling Machine, yeah. yeah. If you Google Amazing Selling Machine, they'll, well, Amazing Selling Machine events, there'll be, I'm sure, details about an event in October. Or if you go to amazing.com forward slash summit, you'll see it. Amazing.com forward slash summit. Let's go and support Casey, the great man. You'll see it, but I, I want to go to yours because Kerwin is also a great, great guy. This is a chap called Kerwin Ray, and he's a terrific marketer. He's a good friend of both of ours. He's yeah. just a nice, just a nice, nice, really nice sorting guy. sound guy. Yeah, yeah, amazing sound machine. All right, everyone. Well, we're getting to our our place of uh, of dropping off. But do you know how to close this? Lock? Yes, I do. Okay, well, so I'll just do that. You just slide it down. But do you want to say thank you? Well, well, it's a real pleasure to be invited on this periscope. Thank you. If you're around, it, I mean, let's do another car scope again, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll drive around. 
this could be something. We need to have like a little. Uh, I have one. IPhone. I just didn't bring it. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't bring my thingy. That's I, what I, she said. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. So predictable. I'm so, so predictable. predictable. In our blue, in our baby blue shirts. <laughs> All right, Thanks, everyone. guys. Well, we'll talk to you later. Which and.